Hello again, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today what we're doing is we're moving firewood from the left side of the wood shelter. We're taking it all the way around to the back. I have to get that side emptied before I can go any further. As you can see, I have all kinds of logs here cut. I have more logs to cut. I've kind of hit a bottleneck. I can't do any more splitting until I get that empty because that wood all has to go into there. That firewood that's on the left side is dry. It's pretty much ready for burning, but it's for next winter. So we got to move it all around there and get it to the back. And the reason that we're in a hurry, we're just about empty on this side. We have another row to do. It's about three wagon loads of it. Got one load here ready to go. I got about three more loads to take around. That'll take some time, but I got to get it done because it's already mid afternoon here. And tomorrow I won't be around. I can't do any work tomorrow. I have appointments. And then Thursday it's raining. And then we're going to get three or four days of beautiful weather, just like today, nice and sunny. So I need to get this emptied out of there so that I can work like crazy on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, splitting wood, stacking. So let's get at it. So this is where we're bringing the firewood for next year, next winter. As you can see, this is under my deck. And I can pile quite a pile of, quite a good amount of firewood under here. It goes even deeper than that. It goes way back in there. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, we don't have a lot of room here left. But as you can see, I'm stacking it pretty high. And we only have one row left to really fill up in here. But if I find that I don't have enough firewood, I'll go and I'll pile it to the right over here. I'll pile it over there. I'll make room for a stack of firewood in that corner where that uh, hoop house is. We'll move it out of there. And we'll put some firewood in there and then we'll just throw a tarp over it to keep it dry. You know, there's one thing I always try to do is minimize the handling of the firewood like anybody would want to, right? When you have to move it too many times, it's really annoying. So basically, I split my wood up there and I stack it for drying. And uh, then I have to move it around here. So I eliminate quite a bit of movement. I only have really one move, which is fine with me. It is kind of annoying to having to move all the wood around here from that one side now. But on the upside, this wood will be all here for next winter now. So usually I'll start bringing wood around in October. I'll let it dry out there all summer long, spring and summer. And then I'll bring the wood around here in October. And I'm busy for about a week or so bringing the wood around here. But now it's all done. Like, I mean, once this row is full, all that wood's around here, I'm done. That next fall, I don't even have to bring wood around. I can just coast right into the winter season without a bunch of heavy lifting and moving and just, you know, wood is here for burning. it all done got all the wood from up there back here and i'll show you what it looks like look at that we didn't have enough room to put all the wood over here i was thinking about put it over here to the right but we just stacked it there right now i can burn the rest of this, this uh march and that'll work good like i mean i'm gonna burn it anyway so it sits right there i'll cover it with a tarp and look at that there's probably one two three four five rows there well four and a half we'll say four and a half rows of firewood that'll take me into probably late january february next year all that wood all right it's about 5 30 p.m in the evening i finished at 4 p.m and i went in for dinner and now i come out just to clean up a bit i'll put my tarps away now, actually i'm going to cover this big load of logs that are right behind you right there I'm going to cover them up tomorrow night because it's supposed to rain all day Thursday. So I'll cover them up. It won't take long. Keep everything dry. But I got started this afternoon. 
And my dad, he always says, if you're working on the wood, piling wood or cutting wood, split wood, give me a call. I'm getting sick and tired of sitting in the house watching TV. He says, give me a call. He likes doing this stuff and keeping knife. So I gave him a shout. He came right over and gave me a hand doing all this. It really helped. And I'm glad this is all behind us because you saw that pile of wood under there. Now I don't have to do that in the fall. Now we can concentrate on splitting and piling in here and then finish cutting all those other logs. And so that was just a quick update. I'm going to leave a link to videos at the end of this video just so you can go see the playlist on this whole firewood series. I'll leave links down below in the description. Check them out. I want to thank you for watching. Hit the like button and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.